Hello, my name is Jacek Żakowicz and here at OptiTech we are going to conduct a series of educational videos that diagnose and address most common technical camera lens issue found on sets. Soft image um, on camera could be caused by two separate issues. The first issue uh, that we uh, consider is um, flange depth of the camera, which is the distance uh, that the sensor surface of the sensor is placed in relation to the uh, flange of the camera where the mouse when the lens is mounted. The second spec is um, the back focus of the lens, and it's a lens spec, and it's the distance where the image forms behind the lens. If those two numbers match, we get a sharp image on camera. If they don't, the image is soft. In order to make uh, many of these cameras as versatile as possible, uh, able to accept many different types of lenses, um, adapters are being used. Uh, here we have uh, our Canon Prolog adapter, and only with this adapter mounted on the camera we are going to measure the flange depth because we'll be putting Canon lens on it later. Um, I'm going to uh, install the adapter right now and here is our test device uh, Optimator Deluxe that projects a very sharp, very high resolution image uh, uh, that is placed at a very precise distance onto the sensor. So uh, using this test device we, can, we will be able to determine the flange, if the flange depth of the camera is correct. I'm going to mount it now. In order to verify the flange depth of the camera with the optimator, uh, we need, we're going to need a high resolution monitor and as we move the uh, image in and out of the proper position we're going to observe the image on the monitor and uh, try to get it as sharp as possible so I'm, I'm moving it now back and forth and I'm going to focus um, and I think around here is where I find it the sharpest and one look at the micrometer on the back of the optimator tells us that the flange depth on this camera is correct. We just determined that the uh, flange depth of the camera is correct by using our um, optimator. And now we can move on to checking the back focus of our lens with a properly set camera um, and this way we'll know if the lens back focus is correct. A uh, couple of notes when checking back focus on the lens um, it is preferred to use the lens in a wide open position because that's, this is where the lens has the least depth of field and any focus changes would be um, quickest and easiest to see and for the same reason it's preferred that the lens is used near its close focusing distance for the, because the, obviously the depth of field at nearest focusing distance is the least. So those two um, positions will give us the most precise reading. Um, so we are going to remove the optimator and use our uh, Tamron 28-105 in EF mount.